Welcome to the uh, Shortwave Radio Channel. And um, to did, you know, a lot of people ask me what is to hear in different frequency ranges. One of them that we don't talk a lot about is what's in between the um, AM band or the medium wave broadcast band and the, um, you know, just above those frequency range up to like 2 megahertz. And I actually had a question today with that. Is, is there anything to listen to uh, above 17 to 10 kilohertz? As in North America, the medium wave band is, ends at 1710. Um, so depending if you're in Europe or in North America, one of the things you need to know is that once you go above the medium wave broadcast band, First of all, you're still in medium wave. Um, the medium wave frequency range is 300 kilohertz to 3000 kilohertz, which means up to three megahertz, technically you're in the medium wave range. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually tune the medium wave range up to three megahertz on this video. And I'm gonna show you a little bit and explain what we can hear. Now, I will also explain what we don't hear that some hear. So in Europe, the medium wave band uh, broadcast band ends at 16 10 kilohertz somewhere like that in North America at 17 10 so technically starting at 17 11 is where we tune to be uh, avoiding the uh, AM band if you're in Europe between 1600 and 1800 kilohertz which is the start of the 160 meter amateur band there's actually a lot of activity there are many, many uh, utility stations that actually are marine weather broadcasts. And there are many countries in Europe that actually have those. So if you live in a European country, do tune around from 1600 to 1800 kilohertz in upper sideband. You'll hear tons of countries, um, you know, Norway, Sweden, um, Switzerland, um, you have France, you have so many countries that have marine broadcasts in the range. Italy, um, you'll have, I think, Greece, uh, some of them in local languages and some of them in English or French. So it's worth tuning around. Here in North America, these are almost impossible to receive. I actually haven't seen anybody receive one of those European low frequency medium wave broadcasts in North America. Probably some have, but um, I haven't seen even in recent um, you know, years, anybody mention any of those stations on that range. So let's tune around um, and I'll of course talk a little bit of what I do and how I tune. So for example, here we are tuning 1700 to 1800. First of all, that frequency range, like I said in Europe, Lots of marine broadcasts. I don't expect to hear much here. I've never really heard anything on that range over here. Now, when you get to 1800 kilohertz, that's where things get interesting for North America because it's the start of the ham band. It's the start of the 160 meter band. And you actually hear some Morse code right now. Now, the 160 meter band is in lower side bands. So that means that what I'll do in general is switch to the lower side band to tune around the range. Some FT8 around 1840 upper side band.
it's almost seven grand now. It's like sixty eight ninety five. Sixty meter band that we just tuned in lower side band, so I always switch. And uh, now for two to three thousand, we'll uh, be an upper side band because it's a utility band. Most of what's there in upper side band. One trick also to understand is when you're not an inter international broadcast band, always tune your radio in side band because first of all, most of what's going to be there is anyways in single side band. And also, it lets you de detect really weak signals that you might actually miss if you stay in AM mode. So now, tune from 2000 to 3000 kilohertz, upper sideband. So the bottom part here, for example, uh, there is a, a couple of stations, one in um, the west coast of Canada that actually is in British Columbia that broadcasts on the lower part of 2 megahertz with marine broadcasts uh, that I've never actually received here on the east. Twenty-one eighty-two kilohertz still a international distress call frequency around 2300 kilohertz 2400 kilohertz it is a known international broadcast band for tropical bands not a lot of activity there, but still a few stations left on that range. I believe there's one in Australia that still can be heard around the range there. Twenty five hundred kilohertz, which is uh, the WWV frequency. Uh, it's still a little early, but uh, usually around oh, 0500 UT or 600 start hearing WWV. Let's see if we can hear it here. It's just Oh, 03. There we go. It's very weak, but it's there. Typically, we'll get louder as we go later in the, uh, in the evening. So let's go back to upper sideband to continue tuning around.
You might hear a lot of little tones here on the lower frequencies that I typically do not listen to much because they are often, um, yeah, we got a lot of, you know, AM stations, so often there will be harmonics of some medium wave station. Two five nine eight, one of the uh, Canadian marine weather broadcast frequencies that comes from different areas, uh, from uh, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, uh, the province of Quebec. For many, this will be a quiet band, but there's more or less depending where you live. So here's one of the marine weather broadcasts from Canada, 2749. This is possibly Nova Scotia. They just switched in French, Halifax, Coast Guard. So these are marine broadcast for ships. And let's continue. And on the top part here, We'll sometimes hear aeronautical communications from either Gander or New York. So uh, when conditions are good and it's dark, it's an area where sometimes you hear some communications. So hope that uh, my tuning around helps in understanding a little more after tuning your radio. And of course, so we'll have some live shows once again, like I said, um, with tuning around the bands like this for sure. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.